wake up. Bridget is outside with Drake. Do something. Oh, what George. What exactly do you want me to do? Well, go down there and, and, and find out why she's here. <sighs> Hi, honey. Oh. Daddy, be right down. Well, just toss her the keys. No. You better go down there and let her in. And don't let her come up here until I fix things. <sighs> why didn't she call? You know, she always calls. Make pancakes, George, and find out why she didn't call. Well, you are the one who said the kids have to know sometime. No, Maggie, Maggie, that's my presentation for Monday. I know that everyone has to find out, but I'm not going to tell Bridget that we are separating in front of her boyfriend. She'd never forgive us. Well, you should have thought about that before you kicked me out of the bedroom. I didn't kick you out. We decided. No, you decided. Well, somebody I had was to. thinking. Oh. That's your problem. No, Ma no, Maggie, 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 it's before coffee. Remember, Dr. Beeman's rule number five expressly states no fighting before coffee. I'm not fighting. I am packing. Dollar fifty a shirt, Maggie. What? One dollar and fifty cents. Light starch French cuffs. Jeez. This is an emergency. I swear you would wait for change on the Titanic. Look what you did. You just can't stand it, can you? You are right. I can't stand throwing away good money. You can't stand that I said it. That I was the one who finally broke down in Dr. Beeman's office last week and said I wanted a separation. Happy 20th anniversary! <sighs> oh, my God. It's our anniversary. Our 20th anniversary. What are we going to do? Uh, okay, okay. Blueberry or, or banana uh, walnut. A banana walnut. They take longer. You left these in Kevin's closet. Bridget and Drake are unpacking in the den. They're up to something. I know they are. We have got to get rid of all these plants. Why? Because it's a dead giveaway. Where there's plants, there's bugs. I hate bugs. Everyone knows. I hate bugs. Mom, can you get it? Yeah, I'll be right there, honey. What you hate is my plant business. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Gee, I thought I paid for the lease. Oh, with our money after I gilded you into it. <sighs> Don't forget Dr. Beeman's rule number three, George. Acknowledged honest effort. Yeah, what about rule number four? Don't keep score. I'm not keeping score. I'm making a call. Oh, mother. Happy anniversary! Oh, darling, are you surprised? Oh, Tell me you're surprised. Hey, Sean. Great to see you. Oh, Sean. Sure. Oh, good. Good. good to see you, man. I never thought I'd see my sister married 20 years. Uh -huh. <laughs> the new house looks wonderful, Maggie. George must be doing well. Well, did I not tell you he's vice president at the bank now? Minor detail. Well done, George. Uh, Patricia, how long are you going to be stateside? Oh, two weeks here, then it's back to Kilkenny. Ah, wonderful. Two weeks. Um, well, you can stay in uh, Bridget's room. I mean, she can stay in Bridget's room, can't she, Maggie? Yeah, I think it looks the same. But absolutely, it's clean. Are you okay, Mom? You look a little pale. Hey, party! Kevin! Hey, Dad, how hey, you doing? Kevin. Happy anniversary. Do you uh, have 20 bucks for the cab? <laughs> <laughs> Why you turtle doves, George? One for every year of wedded bliss. Oh, thank you, Wilson. So nice of you to come. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Happy anniversary, my son. Well, when did you get here? Your mom's in the ladies' room. Bobby flied out of Dallas. Wilson Betancourt, President, Neighborhood Savings. Oh, oh, the boss. You know something? I always knew that George was destined for a career in banking. Now, Dad. Never it. spent his allowance. Always kept his pennies in a can <laughs> under the bed. <laughs> no, 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 this is important. And he had me take him to the bank when he was eight so that he could see if the guards had real bullets in their guns. <laughs> Thank you, that's enough. And to meet Uncle Sam. <laughs> Mom. Marjorie, my wife. I'm very glad to be You got to eat that macaroni salad. She carried it on her lap all the way up here. Mr. Betancourt from the bank is here. He brought a cake, double chocolate. Where do you want these? That is fine. Do you need some help? Please. Oh. Didn't you wear this to my graduation? Mm-hmm, and it still fits. That's not the point, Mom. Buy something besides a plant. You can afford it. I'll tell your father. You and Dad aren't mad at me and Kevin for having a party, are you? Why would you say that? 
Kevin thinks you guys are acting kind of weird. We're just tired, love, you know? Your father had two business trips this month, and the nursery's running me ragged. I don't believe Dad sleeps in here. What do you mean? Oh, of course he does. We both do all the time. He wouldn't even let me have a cactus indoors. Where's the photo album? At bedside table. Uh, Mom, dead socks are in here. <laughs> <laughs> what can I tell you? I think your father's getting a wee bit dotty. Uh. Hey, Maggie, how about a drink? Oh, yeah, that's a punch. Hard or soft? Maggie, your mother-in-law needs a sponge mop. She thinks it's sticky out there. You know how she is. Hard. You did a great job. Thank you. Happy anniversary, George. I love your house. You can feel all the happy memories here. Oh, yes, you can. Come to. Oh, uh, Maggie, uh, kids, this is Lois Everly. She's, uh, she's new at the bank. Lois, is that the Lois from escrow? Oh, Maggie, can I just have a word with you? Excuse us. Um, look, let me, uh, let me just make one thing perfectly clear. I don't like this any more than you. <laughs> in this together so you behave. Well, you seem happy enough, George, huh? Coral is not your color. Uh, Maggie. Think, Maggie, think. Your mother is here for two weeks with your brother and my mother is in here cleaning. How happy can I be? Is that Lois the same Lois that you took to Chicago for that loan conference? I didn't take her to the bank center. She's got an MBA, okay? You put your socks in the bedside drawer and Bridget found them. What'd you tell her? I told you you were getting senile, and Kevin thinks we're acting weird. We are acting weird. We're drinking in a laundry room. I can't stand it, George. I want to tell everybody right here, right now. What? The family's all here. Well, so is my boss. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, Mom, Dad, just to let you know that there's a keg on the porch when you guys are done. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Nobody is telling anybody anything. You wanted to wait for the right time. Trust me, this isn't the right time. Sunshine on a stem for our favorite new client from Baker Seed Company. <laughs> That's lovely. George brought me roses once. There was a giveaway at the car wash and they came with a free can of oh, wax. Now, now, he may pinch a penny or two, but you two have a lot to show for the past 20 years. What about the next 20 years? Mommy, there's something I need to talk But they to. can be the best years of all. After you got married and Sean settled in Boston, that's when your father and I took up the tango. George won't even bring me a rose. What makes you think he'll wear one between his teeth? Showtime. She was just 18, a young Irish lass all alone in America. <laughs> the best au pair the Thompsons ever had. They never forgave George Weston for taking her away. Kevin, I can't believe you made this. The young couple honeymooned on the road. <laughs> and then settled in married student housing in Seattle. You see, George spent no expense. <laughs> they had a balcony. It was a fire escape. Well, they could barbecue. No. <laughs> <laughs> it rained the first few months we were there. <laughs> it was like an old friend come to visit. Felt like it was back in Ireland. Oh, darling. A year later, Bridget Weston was born. <laughs> Not wasting any time, Kevin Weston, heir to the throne, arrived ten months later. Why am I the alien and you get fireworks, Kevin? It's his movie. <laughs> like Columbia River Salmon, the Weston's life was upstream, but they never let it get them down. George got a job at the bank, and soon they could afford more than a lump of coal and their stockings at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, look at that. And George had a paper route by the time he was nine. Yeah. A morning and evening route. Please. Oh, yes. The years went by, Maggie's garden grew, and so did George's job at the bank. He became a loan officer. Maggie saw Bridget off to her prom. After the kids graduated high school and went off to college, Maggie opened a nursery and Dad became a vice president. When the kids are away, the parents can play. There's no stopping George and Maggie Weston together for 20 years, looking forward to 20 more. Mom, Dad, long may you wave. <laughs> Mom and Dad, you're the best. You both sacrificed a lot over the years to raise Kevin and me, and we want to give you something. 
So Grandma and Grandpa, Granny and Sean, we all pitched in to give you something that is long overdue. A second honeymoon! <laughs> Five days on the sunny island of Manzanilla, all expenses paid and non-refundable dad. Margarita nights and coconut dreams on Dorado Beach. You better start packing. You leave tomorrow night on the red eye. Oh, no, you know what? I, I, I can't go tomorrow because I have a board meeting on Wednesday. Oh, it's all taken uh, care of, George. Lois is going to stand in for you. Uh, yeah, but I, I have no one to cover for me at the nursery. What do you think mothers are for? Oh, no. Isn't it romantic? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand why we can't just tell everybody that we're separating and get a refund. Because it's non-refundable, remember? Yeah, but, you know... We can afford to go anywhere we want to, any time we want to, but all you ever do is work. Yeah, well, I'm going to be working the next five days. I'm going to be windsurfing. Hmm? These kids think of everything. They got me windsurfing lessons and new scuba lessons. Huh. It's just that a honeymoon is meant to be romantic. Don't start on our sex life, Maggie. What sex life, George? We don't have huh? a sex life. There you go. Oh, look, wait a minute. If we go to Manzanilla, nobody has to know what we do once we get there, right? Why don't we take separate vacations? I mean, you go your way, I want to go my way. All we have to do together is get on that plane. Separate vacations? Yeah. <sighs> Might work. All right, I got it. Bridget gave it to me. No, Maggie, don't bring that. You're never going to use it. Separate vacations, George. Comprende? Comprende. Esposo, he is not my husband. La carne esta de mi salida hecha. The meat is overdone. They haven't come up for air once. They don't need air, George. They're young and in love. Next. Mm. Western. The honeymoon package. Oh, are you guys newlyweds too? No, not really. Oh, our kids gave us a vacation. A second honeymoon? Aww. That is so cool. Brad Luck and Bill. This is my wife, Jennifer. Jennifer Luck and Bill. Maggie Weston. George. Glad to meet you. Are you guys going to Manzanilla? Dorado B? Oh, we are too. Can't wait. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Weston, I'm sorry, but the flight from Seattle to San Juan is completely booked. I'm afraid I can't seat the two of you together. But I'm sure that once you get on board, you can switch seats. Oh, don't worry. No problem. Fine, That's okay? You're so nice. Okay, and I'm sure the airline charter servicing your connection to Manzanilla will be able to seat you together. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay. Thank you. Mm, Mrs. Weston, is there anything else that you need? Yes, but I'm afraid you can't help me. Next. Hi. We're going to Manzanilla. Mm. Mr. 
Mrs. Weston. Yes. This way, please. This way, please. Maybe the kids got us a limo. Ah. <laughs> Senor Rivera, there must be some mistake. We are not drug dealers. We've been married 20 years. We're on our second honeymoon. Mm, Jasmine. <laughs> Soothing for the nerves, huh? Excellent after a stressful day. <laughs> Incense. My daughter gave it to me for the trip. Uh, but we have no vida loca in Manzanilla. Here, everyone is like you say in your country. Keeping it real. <laughs> Get the luggage. My apologies, Mrs. Weston. Huh? Please excuse the zeal of my officers and the nonsense of my dogs. <laughs> now we have our first story to tell the kids. A good outlook for a wise man. <laughs> Thank you, General. No, please. I'm about the lowly civil servant. And Mrs. Weston, may I say, our humble island is fortunate to have such a beautiful flower added to its garden. <laughs> oh, you certainly may. <laughs> yeah. My new slip. Well, uh, someday they will teach a doc how to inspect the ladies' bags. <laughs> Until then, allow me. My sister's boutique on Calle Imperial. Carte Blanche, to a point, is the least we can do. Thank you. Okay, can we leave now? Uh, of course. Uh, my man will take you to your hotel. Should you need any further assistance? An helicopter ride, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, do not hesitate to call. Huh? <laughs> Cannot believe you let that guy kiss your hand. <laughs> it's the custom. It was very sweet. And frankly, it's none of your business. Oh, oh, and I suppose getting busted for drugs, that was none of my business, too. You know, I do think that I told you not to bring that incense. <laughs> oh, it's a charming town. Oh, yes, look, weddings and divorces. Full service down here. Absorbers would be nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at this lovely resort, George. Thank you. You know, as soon as we get the room squared away, I'm going to go straight to the beach. You know, you don't have to tell me where we're going, Maggie, because we're on our own now, remember? I was just trying to be... Oops. Nice. But, Senor Weston, you have our most luxuriously appointed honeymoon suite. It overlooks Corazon Island. It has its own jacuzzi. Yeah, well, I, I don't need a jacuzzi. I need my own room. I'm afraid we're booked solid for the night. I can try and move you in the morning if I get a cancellation. You don't understand. We need to have separate rooms. It doesn't have to be a suite. It could be a, a single overlook in the car park. We don't care. But we have nothing, Senora. If I may suggest, I could have a roll-away bed sent to your room. I'm sorry, but it's the best I can do right now. Do you have any Calypso dancers or, or limbo contests here at the hotel tonight? Well, let's see. Ricky Martin just checked out. Jennifer Lopez is on vacation. And Christina Aguilera won't be here until next week. But for you, we do have karaoke at the Gardena. Thank you. And you. Gracias, señor. Two dollars. Mm, so? Yeah, I figure since we're taking separate vacations, we should split everything 50-50. Fine. For the honeymooners with our compliments. Look, they gave us a lot of free goodies. Oh, great. I'll take the uh, caviar. Perfume. Oh, champagne. You can have the towels, the sunscreen, and the chocolates. How sinful is the guava gato? Very 
<laughs> well, I'll have one of those then, please. <laughs> Miss Westland? Yes. I'm Tony, your scuba instructor. Hola, Tony. Please call me Maggie. Okay, Maggie. Uh, when you're ready, I thought we might start with a little snorkeling to get you warmed up. You can schedule at the sports desk any time. How about right now? Sure. Uh, shall I have your meal waiting for you when you get back? Yes. Why don't you um, charge it to the room and take a nice big tip for yourself? <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. Your first lesson. Excuse me, can I get a beach towel here? Sure. How about a drink, Mr. Uh, Weston, George Weston, um, whole club soda. Oh, your wife has a food order in. Shall I just add the drink and bring everything over? Oh, where is she? Snorkeling. Uh, yeah, thanks. Hi. Hey! Isn't this place great? Care for chocolate? Mm, oh, not thank me. You. Gotta fit into my bikini. <laughs> Go on, Jimmy. What? You know what they say about chocolate. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but just one. No, no, no. Oh. Take them all. Okay. Hey! Shooters later. What do you say? Shooters. Shooters. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cute couple. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I, uh, George Weston. Uh, Gloria like the song. It's a pleasure. <laughs> this is a great beach. Mm, they bleach the sand. Really? It must cost a fortune. Yeah. But this place is really something. I mean, everyone is, is going around with a big smile on their face. That's because they're either just married or just divorced. Oh, so big business down here, huh? Manzanilla's famous for it. <laughs> oh. oh. Whoa, something wrong? <laughs> I set it on vibrate. It's my massage. They find you wherever you are. Kind of like the IRS. <laughs> That's funny. You're clever. Bank humor. Banker. Wow. Smart and funny. I'm going to have to watch out. Bye. Here you go, Mr. Weston. Oh, thanks. Here you go. All right. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. I, uh... 6627 for a club soda and, and a snack. I don't think so. Uh, but your wife said to charge it. What is that? Well, we got told. Maggie is out of her mind. Maggie! 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 Maggie. I just. Signed a bill for lunch, sixty-six dollars and twenty-seven cents. You're trying to break the bank our first day out. I pay for it. The nursery's a business. It's not a blank check. George, we are on vacation, separate vacations, so separate. Well, I could if I wasn't getting busted for drugs and having to sign for your guava ghetto. Excuse me, the lady is in the middle of a lesson. It's back, off my wife. Don't hit him, please. I'll have to identify the body. Oh, oh, I see. So if we weren't married, you let the guy slug me. Is that it? Tony, we'll finish tomorrow, okay? Yeah. yeah. Number nine, George. Respect personal space. But rule number eight, common goals. It's not your money or my money, Maggie. It is our money. I'm sorry to be a downer and spoil your cuddly snorkel out there, but I would like to be able to eat breakfast tomorrow. Breakfast is included, George. Oh, be a child. Run away. There has to be another hotel room on this island somewhere. Well, you miss money bags. Why don't you try the presidential palace? Pass me my sweater, will you? My mother gave you that sweater. Thank you for reminding me. Tips and lunch, you owe me one half of $78. Put it on my tab. This is your tab, Maggie. You cannot put a tab on a tab. Says who? Taxi! Oh, oh. You're going to rush off in this taxi. you got no idea where the hell you are. And, and, and drive around all day with the meter running, looking for a room someplace. Is that it? Downtown, please. Downtown? There is no downtown here, Maggie. George, people are staring. OK, OK. You want to be by yourself, Maggie, huh? You want to go downtown? OK. OK. 
I think it's time to take off the training wheels, Maggie. Separations for sissies. I mean, we're in the quickie capital of the world. Let's do it. I want a divorce. Andale. Is you who seek a divorce? Yes, General. Uh, please, I'm but a lowly magistrate. Who thought you two were here on a second honeymoon? And we thought you were a customs official. Well, Manzanilla is a small island. A man who sits must wear many hats. Uh, please, sit. Uh, so, it was not true when you said you were here to celebrate 20 wonderful years of marriage. Everything that we told you was true. It's just that we can't be married anymore. Then this is indeed a serious matter. When two people such as yourselves choose to rent the bonds that have held them together for so many years, it is not something to enter into lightly. I assume you have had counseling. A year with Dr. Beeman. Ah, <laughs> Dr. Beeman. <laughs> and you had spoken with your priest. Are these questions absolutely necessary? Perhaps it would be wise for you to discuss your feelings for an hour or so before taking the big step. Antonio Rivera, marriage counselor. Look, General, or, or Your Honor, or, or whatever, these are our own private feelings. Now, we have decided we want a divorce. Well, in that case, I'm bound by the laws of my country to give you one. Here we are. I must ask for your signatures on these forms. And once they are filed, your divorce will be final in 48 hours. We heard it was one day. Well, call it the discretion of the court, Mr. Weston. You're in my country for five days. I trust you will find enough diversion to make your way a pleasant one. On the red X, por favor. I also own a fleet of jeeps, 10% uh, off from the courthouse. No, thanks, I'll uh, take a taxi. Manzanilla is an island of love. Few people come here and live unaffected. Thank you. <clears throat> Senor Rivera, could you uh, maybe recommend a hotel I could stay in tonight? Of course. Uh, let's see. We do not have anything in town that compare with Dorado Beach, but uh, La Concha. By any chance, do you play snooker? No. Uh, La Cinta Azul. No. No, too, too many sailors. Mrs. Weston, as uh, your safety is my primary concern, I must recommend that you return to Dorado Beach. Sh shall I call a car? No. Thank you. I wish to handle the Western divorce personally. George? George? Thank you. De nada.
Hi, remember me? We met at the airport? You call me Maggie. I'm Brad. You remember my wife, Jenny? Hi! Hello. Where's Mr. Weston? I don't know. Uh, you want a shot? <laughs> no, thank you. You're How good? about a couple loco? No. Oh, oh, I know. A jello shot. They're mango. They're really good. Mango? Yeah. Okay, jello shot, please. You're going to like thank it. You. Trust me. <laughs> Isn't it good? It's delicious. It's very nice. <laughs> I love the song. Vodka in that drink? Mm -mm, it's mango. It's pure sugar and pure alcohol. You look vaguely familiar. Julio, cafe por favor. Is that a lava lamp? No, this is a tequila sunrise. Mm. You sure can smile. And so can you. Oh, what a great idea. How did he know? Thank you. Hey, man. Mm. Mucho caliente. You speak Spanish. Here, try this. Thank you. Better? Mm -hmm. Hasta luego. What does that mean? See you around. Some ginger ale or maybe a little jello? Oh, leave me alone. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go windsurfing. I don't wanna miss the waves. Just go. Remember? Huh? Pelvis under. 
Vind je het ook niet friends? Ja. Ja, bij je dat. ¿Te puedo ayudar? ¿Luisa? Uh, ¿Y Mrs. Weston? Ah, oh, sí, yo soy Luisa, Antonio's sister. Oh. He said to expect you. Come this way, please. Thank you. <laughs> Come this way. <sighs> Let's see what we've got. Let me oh, see. Oh, Let me look oh, at oh. you. Oh. Oh. What's wrong here? Hangover? A batteries? So pita y pollo. Ay, sí, por favor. Some chicken soup won't hurt. Ah, uh, don't worry, dear. We're gonna take good care of you. A couple of nice dresses and unos zapatos fabulosos, and you're gonna be gorgeous times ten. Do you like your hair straight and pulled back like that? Pardon me. <laughs> We're gonna fix you up. <laughs> Like a new woman. You are. Thank you. Will you give my love to Antonio? Of course. Adios, Beja. Adios. <laughs> And who can tell me why this flower is so special? Me. Yes? It's called Cupid's Dart and it's our national flower. And why is it our national flower? Because it's the flower of love. And because it's the flower of love, it has magical powers. And who can tell me what these magical powers are? Me! My mother puts it on me when I bruise my knee. Very good. Who wants to see a movie? Me! <laughs> Okay, let's all go see a movie. You know where the theater is. Go right to the theater and I'll meet you there, okay? Don't keep the swans. Wow. Jello girl. Oh, dear. Um, if I did or said anything last night, I'm so sorry. If you did, it was after I left. It's okay. It's only mango. <sighs> so you're a doctor. Well, I don't set any bones, but I do have some orchids on life support. <laughs> I'm a botanist. Uh, well, I have a wee nursery back home, but it's nothing like this. Yeah, a wee nursery, huh? Listen, I, uh, 
got this group of kids that I, I'm, I'm going to take them to this wee movie. And afterwards, I'm going to have some lunch. Would you like to join me? I'm Philip. And you're? I'm Maggie. Maggie. Irish. I'd love you to join me. Well, I wouldn't want to be rude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. Receiving my PhD, I spent five years in Maui, and then I went to New York, where I worked at the Botanical Gardens. New York? Mm -hmm. So why'd you come to Manzanilla? Well, I, I, I was becoming a workaholic in New York, and I, I wasn't spending any time with my son. I mean, here it's beautiful. He can spend the whole day on the beach with his dog. You have a son? Yes, he's 12. I'm divorced. Me too. Well, I'm in, I'm in the process. So we've both made some changes. Disfruta la vida. Eat fruit and live? <laughs> no. No, it means, it means enjoy life, but I like eat fruit and live better. <laughs> Server. This is delicious. You should try it. What about you, Maggie? Do you see any children in your future? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I have a daughter, Bridget. She's 19, and a son, Kevin. He's 18. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. You do not. I do. I was married when I was 18. <laughs> well, you're full of surprises. Good ones, I hope. Well, yeah. yeah. Could you meet me tomorrow at 6 o'clock at, at the Gardenia? I'd like to take you to the other side of the island. And, uh, have you ever seen dolphins dance? <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, Weston, any cancellations yet? Oh, I remember you, Senior Weston. But unfortunately, the answer to your query is no. However... This did arrive for you. Are you all right? You seem to be suffering. Got eaten by a wave. Have a double scotch sent to my room. Sir. George! Oh. I was worried sick. What did the doctor say? Oh, uh, oh. oh just a uh, back spasm, you know? No broken bones. Oh. Oh, razor, babe. Hey, what was I thinking? It was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Looks fantastic. Ah, oh, see, you can't keep a real man from adventure. Oh, you think so? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Oh, let's get you back to your room, okay? Oh. You know, I, I don't suppose you would like to have dinner with me more now. I mean, I should have most of my motor skills back by then. I'd love to. Why don't we start with cocktails, say, uh, six-ish? <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, oh. We need to get you to bed. when you act 19. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Why at all the shops? Actually, I spent the afternoon at the Botanical Gardens and I saw this beautiful Cupid's dart flower. What's this? Oh, that's a pre-sailing trip. So you spent the afternoon with a plant, huh? On its own island. That's where the Cupid darts come from. It says here it's a tropical paradise where people go picnicking. Yeah, well, it also says 
Weather's variable and it's ringed by dangerous rocks. Okay, I'll go. You can't sail a boat. I get someone to sail it for me. I'm the sailor. I should get that trip. Get your own boat, George. I'll pay for half. Deal. Yes, hello, this is George Weston. I'd like to rent a sailboat. Senior Weston, you already have a vessel reserved in your name. I know, I know, don't ask. I'd like to rent another one. It's the last one, are you sure? I see. Thank you. Oh, for sake, George, if it means that much to you, you take it. Oh, hell, Maggie, we're grown-ups. We can go together. And you can see your flowers, and I'll, uh, I'll get in some sailing. Oh, I, I can't stay all day because, uh, I have plans tomorrow night. Me too. Oh. Fine. Master too? It is an honor my constituents have seen fit to bestow upon me. Yeah, well, tell me about the rocks. Uh, no problem in daylight. Uh, at night, uh, no one sails. Uh, too dangerous. Let's go, George. Antonio, do you think we'll see many Cupid's darts this time of year? Millions! Luis uh, will take you out into the channel. Hold on to this. Can I tell you? Oh. Okay. Oh, there you go. No swimming off the boat! Sharks! Sharks? Sharks! Sharks? Yeah! Vaya con Dios! Rosa, we have done our work. Now it is up to wise Mother Nature.
Corazon Island. Okay, prepare to come about. Come where? We're gonna come about. Oh my god, is that a shark? Ow! I don't need to hear it. I can see it, and there's miles of it between us and civilization. Oh, come on. We're not exactly the Swiss family western. You know, we're here, and they'll come and find us. Who knows how soon they'll realize we're missing. We need to think survival. I'm thinking about sunshine starving. Now, let's see. We got rope. We got a little food. We got the clothes on our back. We got a poncho. First aid kit. Ah, waterproof mansion. And a knife and my watch. We didn't have this much stuff when we set up housekeeping 20 years ago. <laughs> housekeeping? Now you're thinking, we need shelter. And the best place for a camp is on high ground. So I, I say we grab all of this stuff and then we go and climb up there. I'd hate to leave this lovely beach, George. Hey, this lovely beach is going to be underwater when the tide comes in. Now you're going to come with me or not? Oh. What happened to your arm? Must have banged it on that rock. Maggie, where are you, where are you going? I'm going to get a Cupid's dart for that bruise. No, 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 Maggie, now is not the time to go pick flowers. Get some firewood and, and meet me up there before the tide comes. I'm not drinking some tea made with wild flowers. Why not? The natives did it all the time. The natives are extinct. What do you want from me, George? I, I want you to stop playing island princess and get real. I mean, go find some real wood, some real coconuts, because it's going to be really, really dark real soon. I saw a real pig. A... What? I saw a pig. A wild pig? A boar? They're ferocious. It didn't look ferocious. Thank you. Do not go back to that area, because a wild boar can kill you. George, do you think anyone misses us yet? Julio, how are you? Good. Has a woman been here waiting for me? No. You mean besides me? <laughs> Don't worry, she's probably just fixing her hair. Okay. Sure. Oh, God. 
want me. <sighs> okay, you know, that could be poison. Yeah, but it could help. Well, this is just a hell of a cocktail hour we're having. Oh, dear. What? I had plans. Oh. So did I. Ow! Damn. Here, try this. Well, what if I'm allergic? Then you'll die and I'll have the rescue boat all to myself. Go on. I married a witch. That feels really good. Huh? You're right. Thanks for making the fire. Oh, not much. Yes, it is. Weston, George Weston. Honeymoon suite. Are you sure? I see. Uh, thank you. My date went sailing this morning with his wife. Story of my life. Your my turn. turn. Hi, it's Dr. Luce here. I'm looking for a guest. I don't know the last name. First name is Maggie. She's from Seattle, Washington. Yes, I'm. Yes, that's right. Weston. Thank you. I'm sorry. Christy Swanson in a Hallmark Movies and Mysteries presentation. When the kids applied to college, so did I. George? George, wake up. George. What? You know, I read somewhere that if the male of the species marks his territory, <sighs> other animals will stay away. Maggie, I am not going to mark the territory. Why not? No one's well, looking. Leave me alone, Maggie. You want to mark the territory? You mark the territory. George, don't be such oh, a oh, oh, I refuse to argue with you just to keep you company. Fine. What are you doing? It's cold. I'm leaving you alone. Oh, come on, Maggie. Oh, you make me crazy. You know, you won't listen to our reasonable. therapist. You won't mark territory. A poncho is not going to keep you warm. Body heat will keep you warm. Two bodies are better than one. Now, come on. George, we are getting divorced. Well, that makes the poncho community property. Would you stop yelling at me? I will yell at you if I want to. You are acting like a two-year-old. Give me the damn poncho and sleep with me. <laughs> Don't say a word. George, did you bang your head on that palm tree? You know, if you banged your head, you better not go to sleep. No, don't go to sleep, George. Okay, are you all right? Maggie, I did not hit my head. I do not have a concussion. I'm fine. I would just like to go to sleep. What, here on the beach? Yes, yes, right here. Thank you very much. Right here. Good night. someone here soon. Well, I'm going to try and catch some fish. We can't just eat fruit. 
Okay, well, I'll try and rig up some kind of a grill. Sure. And that fish almost pulled me into the water. Huh? You saw the rope burn. I wish we had a camera. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> I could get used to this. Me too. How much longer do you think? Oh, a while. You know, maybe I should have baked him luau style with stones. That's not what I meant, George. Huh. <laughs> do you want to go for a swim? No, no, you go. You go. I better keep turning him so he doesn't burn, but. When you get back, you'll be perfect. Meeting you, Rosa. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yes. Are you sure, Roman? Camping by the cave. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah, mañana. Gracias, Ramon. <sighs> Quiet. What do you want me to do? Huh? They're safe and warm. I will save them tomorrow. <laughs> My car. <clears throat> Do that for? I almost had. 
at him. I mean, he, he could have hurt you. you. You don't listen. You just never listen, do you? I had a plan. I'm here to report a missing person. She's an American. Her name is Maggie Weston. She didn't return to her hotel last night. She's not missing. She and Mr. Weston uh, went sailing to Coruscant Island. They are present and accounted on that. Are you sure? Yeah. Please sit. Have you had breakfast? We're devastated that you're cutting your stay with us short, Miss Hammond. My cat's in renal failure. Uh, you don't have a medical refund policy by any chance? Gloria, I want to let you know the Westons will be back this afternoon. You're kidding. They, fi they filed for a divorce two days ago. Can I use your phone to call my vet? Absolutely. Some shot you made. Do you think so? Oh, you conquered a wild boar. I suppose I did, didn't I? I'm sorry if I spoiled your plan with the pig. Oh, I'm sorry, I was so silly to get angry. <sighs> Maggie, what happened to us? We didn't take up the tango. I think we just stopped talking. More importantly, we stopped listening. We buried ourselves in our work, saving for that imaginary rainy day. Rainy days aren't imaginary to me, Maggie. The bank, I see it rain on people all the time. We're not those people, George. We're divorced. Divorced? What's the matter? I just don't know how we ended up here, George. I mean, we had something, didn't we? Tell me we had something. Well, of course we did. You were the most beautiful girl I'd ever met. And the most difficult. You drove me crazy. Promise me that you won't grow a goatee. Where did that come from? Men who get divorces grow goatees and they buy sports cars. <laughs> I promise. As long as you promise me, sir. That you'll never remarry. And you won't even date another man. <sighs> well, that's not fair. Well, who said anything about being fair? That's how I feel. You don't get to feel that way anymore, George. You wanted a divorce, and you're getting one. You know, I'm not the wide-eyed 18-year-old that you married 20 years ago. I am the mother of your children. I run a business, and I'm sorry if I'm not there for you like I used to be, but you're not there for me either. I change. People change. That's life. They grow. You have to grow, too, George. Stop being so afraid. Spend your money. Have some fun. You're a good man. You deserve a reward. But so do I. You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry if I grew up and ruined everything. I'm sorry if I'm a woman and not a girl anymore. But if you can't love me for who I am, then at least wish me well and show me some respect for the years that I loved you. <laughs>
Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. <laughs> there is nothing like a clear day at Manzanilla Bay. Rosa, do not look at me like a Spanish inquisitor. The Westerns needed my expert intervention. I know you don't like it when I play Cupid, but when I meet a couple that needs uh, help, like the Westerns, Besides, I don't do it very often. I don't. Be fair now. No one ever die on Corazon Island. Okay. One man. In 1962. But he died with a smile on his face. You must remember. Western is missing. Oh, I will stay with the ladies. Okay. Don't worry. I have never misplaced a tourist. <laughs> Rosa, horchata para la señora. We were sleeping in the cave, and when I woke up, he was gone. Sure, please. If you don't mind my asking, was there a quarrel? No. Well, yes, but... A party, uh, perhaps? Please, just find him. He might be hurt. Don't worry. We will pray to St. Judas for him. George is out there somewhere. I can't sleep. Ramon is calling the helicopter. They will search into the night. We must leave before he gets started. Only if you promise me you'll find him. Of course, I promise you. But now, please. Where on earth could he be? <laughs> So, you're not sure how he feels, but you want to give it a chance. You don't want to get a divorce, and you're on the plane tomorrow. Yes, I think so. I don't expect you to understand. You're in love with your husband. It happens. You have soul, Philip. I think that's what attracted me to you in the first place. Not my smile. <laughs> Well, the smile goes without saying. And I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but... You know, the fact that you were attracted to me, you'll never know how important that was. Maggie. How could anybody not be attracted to you? Disfruta la vida. I'll have another Coco Loco, please. <laughs> so tell me, George, 
When was the moment you said, hey, there's an elephant in the middle of the living room. We need a divorce. Gloria, I'm an idiot. Oh, I think you're great. Oh, thanks. That means a lot. Because I had more fun with you the other day than I have had in years. And that's the problem. That's a problem? Yes. You see, I, I need to have fun with my wife. I'm, my ex-wife or whatever. I mean, if, if she'll let me. Tell me this is making sense. Uh, in a way. Gloria, you are an extraordinary woman. And you will never know how much you have changed my life. Get a massage every day and never stop windsurfing. 20 buck tip. Generous guy. What do you expect from a banker? Antonio, oh, okay. Okay. thank you. George, we're going to miss our plane. Antonio's sending a car for us. Ah, what time is it? <laughs> I don't feel divorced. Neither do I. And I don't feel married either. How do you feel? Better. Me too. Two dollars each. It's great. That's not too much. Perfect. Maggie, we can't be divorced. How are we going to tell the kids? Maggie, will you marry me? Antonio. Would you marry us, please? I would be honored, but it's not necessary. Because I did not file the divorce papers. My dear Mr. and Mrs. West, you must understand. So many couples come to Manzanilla each year. But when I saw you, some Valentino spoke to me. And he said, Antonio, here are two people who desperately want to fix a love that is broken. Was I wrong to listen? No. George, we could renew our vows. But, but there's no time. They're boarding. No, no, no. Boarding and leaving. <laughs> Two very different procedures. Hey! And do you, Maggie Weston, take George Weston to love, honor, and obey? Uh, 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 obey, no. We, we don't go there. Americans. <laughs> to cherish forever in sickness and health from this day forward as long as you both shall live. I do. Now you ring. You ring. Where's your ring, George? Where is it? Good boy, good boy. Good boy. With the power vested in me as chief magistrate of Manzanilla, I now pronounce you man and wife. Again. Oh. 